Hi everybody, welcome to Cloud Mom. So, your big day. You might think this is gonna happen exactly at 40 weeks, or maybe you have a scheduled C-section planned, but regardless, it's not exactly clear when exactly your baby's going to come. Four of my five babies actually were born before 37 weeks. So, no matter when you think you're actually gonna be delivering your baby, keeping your, getting your stuff for the hospital all organized well in advance is the key to feeling calm and secure and relaxed in the last few weeks of your pregnancy. So in this show, we're gonna walk through exactly what you need to do to get ready for the hospital. Pack a bag one month before your due date or scheduled delivery date and have everything ready to go. This will make you feel more relaxed. When it comes to things you're gonna be bringing to the hospital, it basically divides down into three different sorts of things. First, things that the hospital is gonna need from you. Second, things that you're gonna need for yourself. And finally, things that you're gonna need for your new baby. Okay, so make sure you have some valid form of picture ID, like a driver's license, not your gym membership. Bring your insurance card along with a birth plan, if you have one, and any hospital paperwork you might need. And you can put all these things in a place that's really easy to find, such as an envelope in your handbag. Okay, so most hospitals, if you're not having a C-section, will want you to be there at least for a day and a half to two days. And my personal advice is to stay for as long as possible because when you're in the hospital, you're gonna get help with your baby. So stay there for as long as your insurance will allow you to stay there. And when you start to think about what you need to bring to the hospital, consider what's gonna be going on with your body during these first few days. The hospital will give you certain things that you can use, which are very helpful, but you also wanna have the right things for you. You're gonna be starting to nurse or your milk is gonna be coming in and you can get wet up there, so you wanna have extra nursing bras and it's good to have an extra pair of pajama and extra underwear because if you've had a vaginal delivery, you're gonna be bleeding. So you have to make sure that you have backups in those categories. So let's go through what a really good list might look like. You'll need two pairs of pajamas. I would get button down ones for ease in nursing. Toiletries, soap, toothpaste, toothbrush, shampoo, a hairbrush, a blow dryer if you use one, maybe even a little bit of makeup if you wear makeup, including lip gloss because there can be some historic photos taking place. I would bring some maxi pads. Hospitals will supply these, but I like to bring my own. Two to three extra pairs of underwear, which are briefs and maxi pad compatible, if you know what I mean. That means no thongs, ladies. Several nursing bras and nursing pads. Some light slippers to roam the hospital halls in and one change of maternity clothes for going home in. You'll be in these for at least a few more weeks and you wanna feel comfortable. Now, I don't know if you're like me, I wear contact lenses, but contact lenses are not something you're gonna to wanna to even deal with when you're in labor. You're also gonna to wanna to think about people you're gonna to wanna to get in touch with once you've had your baby. So in that regard, Make sure you pack a pair of eyeglasses if you wear contacts and a list of names and phone numbers of people that you want to notify. You might even want to compile an email list in advance so that you can alert your friends really easily. And make sure you leave all your valuables at home because you won't be able to wear these during labor and you're not going to have a secure place to leave them afterwards. Okay, so now, what are you gonna pack for your new baby? You don't need a lot of things for your new baby, but what you do need the things that you do need, sorry, are totally essential. The most important thing is a rear-facing car seat for newborns. Hospitals will not let you leave the maternity ward without a car seat, so this is most important. You'll wanna bring a seasonally appropriate front snap pajama for your baby to leave the hospital in, and a side snap t-shirt to wear underneath, a few bibs in case your baby spits up, and a warm baby blanket to wrap around the baby when she's in her car seat. This is good even in warm climates because of air conditioning. So now for my number one thing that I always try to bring home for the hospital, and these are actually in a lot of my shows. I am a huge fan of the hospital burp cloth. I have these in two colors. They used to make them even in a softer way, and they have blue and green stripes. I love these for nursing the baby. I love them for burping the baby. I love them for swaddling the baby. And my kids even use them now as security blankets. So definitely ask the nurse when you're leaving if she'll let you bring a few of these home. I would also see if she'll let you take a few side snap pajamas because the hospital ones can be excellent and a nasal aspirator. So these are just the essential things you're gonna need to bring with you when you go to the hospital and what you're gonna need to take home with you Good luck getting all this organized in anticipation of your baby, and I hope that everything goes very smoothly for you once you get to the hospital.